Footsteps to Federation. From about 1840, the idea of uniting the colonies was being discussed through parliamentary committees and intercolonial conferences. 1867. At an intercolonial conference, Henry Parks, later Premier of New South Wales, suggested a federal council should be formed through which the colonies could pass some uniform laws. Two decades elapsed before further action on it was taken. 1885. A federal council was created, but it was doomed to failure because of funding issues and the lack of any real authority. 1889. The Tenterfield Oration, delivered by Henry Parks, reignited the movement towards a united Australia by calling for a convention of Australia's leading men to discuss federation. 1890. The Australian Federation Conference was held in Melbourne and resulted in a commitment to hold a national convention at which a draft constitution would be produced. 1891. The first National Australasia Convention was hosted in Sydney. A drafting committee, led by Sir Samuel Griffith, the Queensland Premier, prepared the first draft of the Constitution for a Commonwealth of Australia. 1891-94 This was a period of economic depression, and the momentum towards federation slowed markedly. 1892 Groups such as the Australian Federation League in New South Wales and the Australian Natives Association in Victoria continued to push for federation. Edmund Barton encouraged the towns of Riverina to form federation leagues. 1893. A People's Conference was held in Corowa, New South Wales, which agreed the best interests, present and future prosperity of the Australian colonies will be promoted by their early federation. The Corowa Conference agreed to a plan, authored by Victorian delegate John Quick. 1895. A Premier's Conference in Hobart adopted the so-called Corowa Plan. 1896. A Second People's Conference was held in Bathurst to discuss the 1891 draft constitution and to urge the holding of another Federation Convention. 1896. The death of Sir Henry Parkes, a man unable to see his dream come to fruition. 1897. The Second National Australasian Convention met in Adelaide, and at its first session drafted a new constitution. The second session, held in Sydney some five months later, considered amendments proposed by the colonial parliaments. 1898. A third session of the convention was held in Melbourne and resulted in the presentation of a new draft constitution. Referendums were held in New South Wales, Victoria, South Australia and Tasmania to approve the constitution. It was agreed to by all states but New South Wales. The first Women's Federation League was formed in Sydney by Maybank Wollstoneholme with the support of Edmund Barton. 1899. In January, a secret Premier's meeting held in Melbourne agreed to several changes to the Constitution. Between April and July, a second round of referendums were held. South Australia, New South Wales, Victoria and Tasmania were in agreement. Queensland's agreement came in September so only Western Australia remained to be convinced to support the Constitution. 1900. In March, a delegation travelled to London to present the Constitution to the British Parliament. On the 5th of July, both Houses of the British Parliament passed the Commonwealth of Australia Constitution Act 1900. On the 9th of July, Queen Victoria signed the Commonwealth of Australia Constitution Act 1900. On the 31st of July, Western Australia held a referendum at which an overwhelming majority of the voters approved the Constitution. 1901. On the 1st of January, in Centennial Park in Sydney, the Governor-General, Lord Hopeton, 
read the proclamation of the Commonwealth of Australia. On the 29th and 30th of March the same year, the first federal election was held. On the 9th of May, the Duke of Cornwall and York, later King George V, opened the first Parliament of the Commonwealth of Australia in the Exhibition Building at Melbourne.